This training video demonstrates peripheral cannulation in adults using aseptic non-touch technique. These guidelines focus on the sequence of infection control steps necessary to ensure clinical procedures are performed aseptically. The fundamental principle of ANTT is that key parts must only come into contact with other aseptic key parts or key sites. In peripheral cannulation, these are the parts that will come in contact with the saline flush and the patient's puncture site. Peripheral cannulation procedure step by step. Step 1. Clean your hands before starting the procedure using soap and water or alcohol hand rub. Hand hygiene is essential to break any chain of infection from contact with patients or fomites. Step 2. Plastic trays can be used as an aseptic field. Clean your plastic tray with 70% alcohol or detergent according to local policy. Clean the inside first, then the outside and allow to dry. Step 3. If a tourniquet is being used, clean with a disinfectant wipe. Step 4. While the tray dries, collect all necessary equipment and place close at hand next to the tray. Step 5. Clean your hands with soap and water or alcohol hand rub. Remember to use the correct hand cleaning technique. Step 6. Draw up the cannula flush using sterile 0.9% saline for intravenous use. If an extension set is to be used, prime with sterile 0.9% saline for intravenous use. Protect the key parts that are not in use by using sterile caps or stoppers. Proceed to the patient. Step 7. Apply the tourniquet and locate a vein. Step 8. Put on an apron. Apply alcohol hand rub and wear non-sterile gloves. Step 10. Press the applicator or swab against the skin which contains 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol using repeated up and down and back and forth strokes for 30 seconds. It is essential to let the skin dry completely. Step 11. Anchor the vein below the puncture site and insert the cannula using non-touch technique. If it is necessary to repalpate the vein, the site must be recleaned before cannulation. Step 12. Ensure there is backflow of blood in the stylet. Remove the stylet and dispose immediately in the sharps box. Screw on the stopper. Step 13. Apply a transparent, semi-permeable dressing. Ensure the cannula exit site is clearly visible and the cannula is properly fixed. If the primed extension set is being used, remove the stopper and clean the port with 2% chlorhexidine in 70% isopropyl alcohol before connecting. Flush the cannula immediately and document the date and time of insertion of the cannula dressing and then on the cannula insertion document. Step 14. Dispose of all equipment and clean tray with 70% alcohol or detergent wipes according to local policy. Remove and dispose of the gloves. Wash your hands with soap and water. Thank you for watching this demonstration.